Hi, I'm Robin. I'm an artist instructor here at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art with another Art in Action. Today we're going to be creating a watercolor painting with salt. Okay, so for this project, we are going to need a few materials, our watercolor paper, our watercolor set. Um, my watercolor set also has this area for mixing watercolor on it. If you don't happen to have that, you can also use a ceramic plate from your kitchen. You are going to need a watercolor brush, a paper towel, a vessel with water, uh, you will need your salt. I happen to have four different kinds of salt that I found in my kitchen, but you can just use one if that's appropriate. And you also need some kind of material to scrape away the salt once it's dried. I have this metal piece that I found. You could also use a credit card. So the special ingredient that we're gonna have in our watercolor today is salt. It's going to create a texture that you can find in a natural object. The way that it works is once you put watercolor down on a piece of paper and it's still wet, if you add those salt crystals on top, they're just gonna act like little sponges soaking up all the water and pigment that's around it, leaving that area white and the greater area around it, your color field. So to create, we're first gonna see how our salt acts on our paper. Do a little experimentation with it. So we're gonna pick a color. I'm gonna pick this blue. So I'm gonna add this, I'm making a square. You wanna have enough water on your piece of paper that the salt can adhere to it, but you don't want too much where it's puddling up. So here there's a pretty good sheen to it. If you go like this, you can see that. Add some salt to it. And you can already start to see where the water is being picked up by those little salt crystals as sponges. The important thing to do is to really let this sit now and really let the magic of the salt happen. I'm gonna also try this out with the other salts that I found at my house. Um, and if you have some, you can do that too. So we've had enough time that our salt in this experiment has dried. So there's a few ways that you can get remove it to see how the different kinds of salt we did, how it looks. You can use your finger to kind of get it away. Sometimes it's really sticking, so I find that's where I set a credit card or I have this metal piece of metal. You can just kind of go and scrape along the edge to see what each of the salt crystals look like. So then you can kind of look at it, examine, see what you like. So I noticed those bigger salt crystals that I used didn't really have much um, to look at. They didn't draw the water in as much. It also could have been that my paper wasn't as wet when I put it on, but I noticed that I really like this iodized salt and how the crystals um, really drew it in on there. So I think I'm gonna use this for my painting that I'll do. Okay, so we tested out the different kinds of adding salt to our watercolor and saw that I liked this iodized salt the best for what I wanted to create. So now I'm gonna create a winter scene. This salt will be really great because if I do the sky and then add salt to it, it's gonna look like the snow is falling. So I'm just going to, on my paper, make a line to showcase uh, where the sky is stopping at the horizon and the land that's below it. I'm also gonna later add a tree to it. So I'm just going to put a few lines just so I know where my tree is gonna go. And I'm gonna add a little tree over here. And you just wanna do really light marks. They will come away when you paint over them. They, you won't be able to see as much your lines, but you do want them there if it will help you. 
So what we're gonna do first is paint the sky. We're gonna get it wet. Just the skyline. And then get it wet right up until where it hits the horizon of the land. And I want mine to look like it was nighttime, so I'm gonna add this like little bit of darker black to it. I want everything that's on top to be more pigment. And then as I come down, I'm gonna keep adding water to my pigment that's over here and just make it a little bit lighter in color. And now with it still wet, I'm gonna add salt on top. And this is gonna be like it's a big winter storm, so lots of snow falling. So I put quite a bit of crystals, salt crystals down. And now we're just gonna let this sit and wait and then we'll do some trees to come in with. Okay, so I've painted my winter sky and I've had the crystals really take and bring and draw in all that water. I wanna remove the salt. So you wanna make sure that you're actually removing all the salt any of the paint you put on later, you don't want it to be affected by the salt. So now I have where it looks like there is snow actually falling. So I wanna put in a few trees in the foreground to create some visual interest for this watercolor. So I'm gonna mix up a darker green blue for these trees. get to the bottom of my tree, I'm going to get some water on my paintbrush and then bring off some of the water and pigment and kind of just move it to the side so it looks like the shadow in the snow. So snow, when you look at it, it's pretty white, but every once in a while there's a color for where there's shadow. So I'm going to create very watered down color. And I'm just gonna put it in certain areas, kind of like there's these little hills. And now you have a winter wonderland scene made with salt. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share any work that's inspired by this project. And until next time, it's art in action.